Hello gorgeous Gemini and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Gemini. So if your Sun sign doesn't resonate so much this week, you might like to check out your Moon sign or your Rising sign and for love and romance your Venus sign. This is a general reading so please take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. Be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout this reading because Spirit does want to bring through messages direct to you. you. You may notice an image on one of the cards or a message on one of the cards really resonates for a situation that you're going through. Take notice of these things. Spirit does want to connect with you throughout this read. Guidance for Gemini, please, Spirit. Guidance for Gemini. Let's take a look at your first card. We have the energy of partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. So this week, it's not about doing things by yourself, Gemini. It really isn't. It's about finding a partner. It's about teamwork, working with others, delegation, um, being in companionship, being cooperative, um, making a relationship work better for you. That's what it's about. So you may have a particular relationship on your mind that you're wanting to um, wanting to harmonize or that you're wanting some improvement in. And if that's you, Spirit is saying that this week is a fantastic week to go about doing this. Have that conversation. Um, open up. Have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So that's what I'm seeing here um, with the partnership. I'm also seeing that there's going to be some kind of offer or invitation uh, that is given to you or presented to you this week. And I feel that it's coming from a genuine place from the other party and I feel that you might be a little bit hesitant perhaps, but I do sense that it's coming from a good place, um, a, a genuine good place um, in the other person's uh, heart. That's what I'm seeing. So let's take a look at this card for you and see what it says. We have the energy of release. I release that which does not serve my higher purpose with gratitude and love. This is a very powerful energy for you and I'm seeing that you're really saying goodbye to past traumas and difficulties and challenges. You really are. You're at the time now. Now is the time for you to go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life that you've imagined. Don't hold back. Do not hold back. Go confidently in that direction that you see for yourself and release all of the baggage. You're pushing to the surface. Yes, I love this. You're you're really pushing to the to the surface here. And what I'm being told by spirit is that this means that you're going to have a breakthrough. You really are. This is a breakthrough. Now, for some of you, this is going to be a creative breakthrough. If you have a writer's block or if you're doing something artistic or creative in any kind of field, it looks like it's actually going to um, obstacles will fall away this week. I'm also seeing the ocean here as quite emotional territory. So you're coming from deep emotions and you're breaking free into the sunlight. So you're coming out of depression, you're coming out of anxiety, you're coming out of um, negative thoughts or feelings in whatever circumstance this is for you. And if it resonates, you'll know exactly what spirit is trying to touch on here. And the message on this card is you may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. So becoming aware, more conscious, have a more conscious spirit to the dynamics of your life. I feel that's important for someone. Let's take a look at this card and message. We have the card of grounding yourself. I'm seeing you walking out in nature or being in a natural state 
uh, with someone. This is a very natural state. You're feeling comfortable with someone. It may actually be coming into um, tying into this energy of partnership where you're feeling you're just you can be yourself with someone. That's what I'm sensing. When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed here upon the earth. That's really important, Gemini. At the moment, your attention, your focus and your work are needed here on earth. You've got to know that. Because you may be off in a fantasy world or you could be in the depths of emotion here. But um, it's important to know and spirit does want you to know that you are cherished and that you are needed. You are needed on earth right now. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. So I'm also seeing the spiritual element here is going to be a focus for some of you this week, but also the material um, for others. So you'll know which one it's going to be for you. Material, it's going to be about work, it's going to be about income, finances, it's going to be about uh, what you have manifested around you, the real world, and of course spiritual um, is going to be connecting into your higher self, it's going to be connecting into source energy. Um, so I'm seeing that there has been a focus on one of these two things more than the other, and this week... There's going to be an opportunity to balance these energies. And Spirit is telling me they're going to help you with one of these two things that have been lacking. We have the Empress energy. So this is the mother archetype. So you may be having dealings with your mother. There may be some interesting conversations or a talk that happens. You may hear word about your mother or a mother influence or someone who is nurturing toward you. This may be a passed over loved one that is trying to contact you from spirit and bring through a message of importance as well. There is, with the mother, of course, there is an energy of nurturing and being very um, being very grounded. So I'm connecting that in here to grounding yourself with a mothering, nurturing energy, which may mean that you're looking at um, you're looking at nurturing a, a project or a hobby, an interest. Perhaps you have your eye on pursuing someone or something. You're looking to nurture something here and grow in yourself as well as helping others. The magician energy is here. So I am seeing an Aries energy here with the magician, but I'm also seeing there's an energy of manifestation here, very powerful manifestation with the magician. So you really will have the ability this week to harness these powers of manifestation. So be very aware of where your intention is going this week, because it might in fact bring that back toward you. So you may be able to manifest some things. Get the ball rolling on particular things that you're wanting to um, bring into your life. We have the Queen of Swords. So I'm seeing that there may be dealings with or um, an important meeting with or a phone conversation. I'm being told by spirit um, with this uh, Queen of Swords. Um, perhaps an air sign, maybe another Gemini, perhaps. Um, but I am seeing that one of you is more nurturing than the other because the Queen of Swords and the Empress are kind of opposite energies here. So the Empress is quite nurturing and, and caring and empathic, but the Queen of Swords can be quite cold and distant. So there might be a disconnect between, between you both. And the Three of Swords, well, this means that that your head and your heart aren't working together on something here. You're feeling drawn toward doing something or, or saying something or being with someone, but you, you're going to have to move away from it So because it's not good for you. So I feel that's connected into the release energy here. Um, I feel that there's a message of you don't need to punish yourself. You don't need to continue a cycle you can break a cycle that you've been entrapped in and maybe to do with a partnership perhaps and the two of pentacles 
I'm seeing this as a really good sign for you, Gemini, because I'm seeing this as you being able to take some control back um, from a situation here and you're juggling the situation in your own life. So you're being able to work with energies without interference from an outside source. So that's interesting. Um, so someone here has been trying to interfere with your energies, perhaps for a long time. And so I'm seeing that you're breaking away from that. And that in itself is very powerful. I'm also seeing that you're making a choice about a manifestation you're wanting to bring through. And when you decide on what exactly you want, you will be able to bring that through into reality. Spirit is confirming that with what I'm seeing here. So very powerful read for you this week, Gemini. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'll talk to you all again soon.